Hi guys, um, I'm doing a makeup tutorial uh, on request by Everose on Meba. So, this is what my face looks like without makeup. I look like a freaking hag. Anyway, what you'll want to start out with is a good magnifying mirror. This helps a lot. See? Ooh, you see yourself. But you want a good magnifying mirror because when you're doing eyeliner, this helps a lot. And also, because I am an avid lover of lip liner, you'll want that too. So you'll need magnifying mirror. Actually, you can even get the little small ones. I have one in my purse, but I don't know where my purse is or else I'd show you. You need something like this. If you don't know what this is, this is actually um, made by CoverGirl because anything else breaks me off. But really, it's up to you what brand you want to use. Uh, this is Aqua C CoverGirl Smoother's Tinted Moisturizer in light to medium, and it has an SPF of 15 in it. You always want, even if you're not going to wear makeup, put this on when you go out because even if it's cloudy, you could be damaging your skin with the sun. So I highly suggest that you're going to need that. You're going to need powder and a powder puff or a brush, whichever you prefer. I actually use baby powder because it makes your skin smell really good and I've learned it holds better than regular powders. Uh, a blush. Really, this is NYC's Cheek Glow. Yes, I use very cheap makeup because amazingly the cheap makeup doesn't make me break out really bad. It doesn't hold the oils in it. Something like this. This is actually, I'm trying to find what color it is. This is Sutton Place Peach. So it's a brownish. You can use pink if you want. Um, you wanna, you're going to want a makeup applicator sponge. Some kind of foundation. This is Rimmel London's Matte Match Perfection in True Ivory. You're going to want a brush to apply your blush with. And what else do we have in here? Eyelash curler. If you want your eyelashes to look good, you'll use this. See, I have practically no eyelashes, but with this and some mascara, I can look like I have something. You're going to want your basic brushes, like eyeshadow brushes and an eyeshadow sponge. So that's going to help a lot. Um, I'll be using a sponge and this. I just have to dig my sponge out. You're going to be wanting eyeliner. This is Maybelline's Unstoppable Eyeliner in Onyx. And it's like the crayon type of eyeliner. I used to use liquid, but I found liquid uh, really burns. So this is probably your best bet. And this is easier if you make a mistake. You can swipe it off pretty easily and redo it. Uh, this is a lifesaver. This is actually a concealer pack and it has, you can't tell on here, but it has different colors in there to cover up blemishes. It has greens and different shades of beige and yellow because amazingly enough the green helps cover up red marks really well if you put it on underneath all your makeup. I also have this L'Oreal True Match, which I use a little brush and use it as my uh, concealer after I put on all my makeup. If there's any red marks left, I use this. And then you're going to want to pick like eyeshadow of your choice. Uh, today, I think, what color do we want to use today? Should we use green? I'm torn between, between green and purple. Hmm. <laughs> I personally think we will use the purple palette. It's best to use the palette because you get all these colors. You can choose from colors and you can mix them up, but also, you know, the girls who walk around with just the eyeshadow right here, that's bad. That's not good. That's not how you put on makeup. And I'll show you that later. And you will want one of these. What is this, you may ask? It is an, what I draw my eyebrows on with. Because see, all I have is this. 
I have big eyebrows. This is actually me letting me grow my eyebrows out. Normally I don't have any eyebrows at all. So this is me with a little bit of eyebrow. I actually am going to have to sharpen this. And also you're going to want to find a lipstick. Lip gloss you can do, but if you're wanting to actually have something, don't suggest it. Lip gloss is for little girls, not for women. Or if, if you're working out and want a little bit of something on your face, but little women don't wear a lip gloss. Voila, sharpened enough. So, and today we will be using, this is so, I've had this for so long I don't even know what it is, but it's almost a lip gloss, but not quite. It sticks like a lipstick, but goes on like lip gloss. And on the top, it has a lip liner to keep everything in place, and plus you can exaggerate your lips if you want. And if you have your hair in your way, like I do, you're going to want to take something and pull it back. Ignore how stupid this is going to look. But I'm going to take something and pull it back. I just totally knocked over that. And I just spent the last six minutes trying to teach you that. Um, you're going to want to take your color palette. And I'm going to center this so I can look in a mirror at the same time. Okay, you're going to want to take your color palette. Take some green. If you notice red marks, just start covering up. They don't have to be perfectly covered. Just dab some on. See, like that? Anywhere you might have red. And that way, when you put your foundation on, you will have an even skin tone. And I actually got all of this stuff fairly cheap. I mean, for the color palette, that was six bucks. Put it everywhere. Da, 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 da. You can even, I get blackheads on my nose. So I put it on my nose ever so slightly. And once you cover up all your red marks, you'll probably look a little splotchy and white in places. That's okay. You're going to take, if you have a palette, you're going to take the color that resembles your skin the most and cover that, cover what you just did up with that. And you should start seeing your blemishes being concealed. So, I like using my fingers because I get in there better. And if you have dark circles, I kind of get dark circles. They have like a yellowish kind of thing. You take that and just go right through the crease. Like that. And blend it in. Just like that. Okay. Next, you're going to want to take this stuff. Just a little bit goes a very long way. Literally like that much should be enough. Kind of spread it between your two fingers just like you're put on lotion. Especially on your forehead. Basically your T-line really needs it. There you go. And you're not going to really see that. You might see a little bit of a tint, but really it's just a, it's great to moisturize and help with the sunblock and stuff. And then you're going to take your foundation and your sponge. And this is where my nose starts to run because whenever I start putting stuff on, it does. And it just ruins all the makeup on my nose. <laughs> you're going to put some on and start going through your skin like this. I don't need my mirror for this one. I can actually 
can see this with my eyes closed. Just make sure you cover eyelids and everything. You don't want to miss anything because if you miss something you'll look like a weird tiger. Even get somewhat over here towards your ears. Because I've seen girls walking around with it, you can see the line of their makeup. And don't be afraid of makeup. A little goes a long way, but also if you need more, don't be afraid to. And get down on your neck. That way it blends. You don't have this line through here. Get back here and down through your neck. That way you have a perfect, perfect line. You know, or you should have no line at all. Okay, and if you notice, after you've put on the liquid, sometimes it burns off some of the cute concealer. If you notice you have any scotch, just take an itty bitty brush, concealer brush, dip it in your leftover concealer. You don't have to have a separate concealer; you can use your old concealer that we used earlier, and just touch up, just like that. because you can have perfect skin and you can fake it if you want to. No one, if anyone notices, no one's going to say anything. And honestly, after a while, you should be able to take a lot of makeup and make it look natural. Because I tell you what, you see a lot of women that is not natural. Hardly anyone has naturally clear skin. If you do, you're a lucky bitch. Okay, just kind of check over, make sure you didn't miss anything, which I have. You can even co cover any freckles and stuff you have, but I keep mine. I have one. I have one right there, but it doesn't bother me. You're going to take your blush now. Your blush. I'm going to open it. Take your brush. Kind of swipe the brush in a dabbing motion in it and kind of knock off the excess and right there right along your cheekbones and then you're going to smile well not really a smile but enough to see how you got that cheekbone crease I'm going to do that And also, to kind of balance it out, put a little dab on your chin. I don't know why, it just helps balance it out. It's a habit. And then you're going to take your powder, knock off the excess, got a little bit on my computer, knock off excess powder so you don't turn into a ghost because you want to keep all that blush. Then you're going to take it and go through here. And dab it on because the powder is what's going to make you look flawless especially your nose because no one likes to see you shiny if you're shiny you look sweaty because look at the difference I haven't done this half of my face when the light hits it it's very shiny this half isn't so we're just going to cover that up well, there. Shine is pretty much gone. There's just a glow. <laughs> Alright, now here comes the hard part. We are going to draw on eyebrows. So, um, I am going to be stopping this video now that we have our base out of the way. And I will be starting another one to work on the eyes.